Electronica 2022. I'm here talking with Richard from uh, Bosch Sensor Tech, and we're talking today about an environmental sensor. So we were talking about um, what changes there have been since we were at Electronica last. It's been four years. So you're telling me this product's been out around for a while, but what's new? Exactly. So it's running for a while and used in millions of devices to measure air quality. But the new thing is you can train the sensor on the specific detection of certain gases. Yeah? So you can, for instance, detect fire gases specifically. You can also detect the smell of coolants specifically. You can detect bad breath or if food gets spoiled. So every customer can train the gas sensor on his specific application by just using our software tools. Now I'm quite fascinated about what these four jars are, are what's in them. So what have you got going on here? Yeah, so we have different types of drinks here to showcase that the sensor can detect specific gases. And I mean, here okay. we have cocktails with and without alcohol. Here we have beer with and without alcohol. You can guess which one is which one and then the sensor will tell you. So okay. what do you think? Which one is with alcohol? I'm not allowed to use my nose. Yeah. My, my inbuilt <laughs> sensor. So I'm going to say this, this one looks a little lighter. So I'm going to say that's the one with alcohol. Okay, that's the one with alcohol and that's the one without? That's what I think. Okay, then I put the sensor on top. Um, okay. So we have here sensors which are connected via Bluetooth with our phone. And you see here on the screen that the sensor is doing a gas scan. And when the scan is, uh, is, has been passed through, you will calculate the result. And you see here the likeliness of what is currently um, present. We have four classes and you have seen the likeliness for an alcoholic drink um, significantly increase to 100%. <laughs> so, so that's the alcoholic one. That's the non-alcoholic one. Oh, I one. got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have another go with this side then? Okay, let's try so, with the beer. Yeah. So with the beer. Now, I obviously can't smell it, so I'm going to say... You, you, you can try to smell if you like to. I can try just, to smell just it. Just take it up and try. Okay, so let's see. I think this, this one is the non-alcoholic. I think that, that one's the non-alcoholic. So what do I need yeah, to do? Yeah, just put the sensor on just top. Just put the sensor on top. Let's find out. Exactly, and let's see what's happened. If, if, you, if, it's, if you change during the scan, you have to wait until the scan is completed. Right. So just wait for the first complete scan and then okay. we'll see it. Okay, here we go. It's again the alcoholic one, yeah. <laughs> but you always have to <laughs> wait for two to three scans until yeah. you can be sure. So, um, but I, I so know my it's... nose is rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, we, we are using exactly the same type of beer, the same brand. Yeah. And they, I mean, this, 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 this brewery spent a lot of effort that you do not have a difference in the taste. And you yeah. know, even the taste is about what you are smelling, yeah? Exactly. So it's, it's, it's very hard to distinguish, yeah? yeah. But not for the sensor. <laughs> amazing, amazing. That's, yeah. And that, it would be so practical in so many applications, I can see that. Okay, and how would you say that would help to empower a greener future? Yeah, for this, the most important application is that the sensor can detect fire gases specifically. So that's a product of one of our customers using our sensor behind the membrane. And here the sensor is trained on the emissions of uh, wildfires. Yeah? And this sensor can detect wildfires within a very few minutes. And this is a huge improvement because so far, in a good case, we became aware about wildfires within hours by camera detection. If not, then within a few days by satellite images and then you cannot do anything anymore. And as you maybe not know, uh, wildfires can contribute with up to 20% of the global CO2 emissions. So it's nearly the same amount of the global traffic. So I that's, think that's really a huge contribution. I mean, that's, a, that's, that's an astounding figure. And we've heard so much recently about wildfires and you know, with the climate warming, there's a lot more wildfires. So, and this just gets hung up in I'm guessing this just gets hung in a tree. Yep. It's solar powered, so it can just be, go there and stay there. Absolutely. Until, yeah. until it's needed. That's really amazing. So thank you very much for uh, talking to me today. Now, as I go, what's the one thing that you want me to remember about this, this uh, um, application, this topic? 
this yeah, place. the main thing is again, take care about the air quality because you spend 90% of your time in buildings. You spend eight hours a day in your bedroom. So one third of your lifetime and air quality impacts whether you feel good or not. Yeah, so take care about yeah. your air quality. Thank you very much.